hello friends welcome to my channel today i am going to make a video for the real tech hd od manager uh, for the windows 10 in this video i am only installing the windows audio console which is uh, for the real tech audio console i will show you once here you can find it in the uh, apps menu here the real tech audio console in basic this is actually the same as like the real tech sd audio manager as we previously installed for installing this uh, kind of window i used the uad drivers for the real tech you might all know about it uh, you can search it in the internet so for installing this uh, window i'm uh, i used to my motherboard's disk which comes with the motherboard and my motherboard is Gigabyte B450 DS3H, uh, you know, the AMD processor. I am using the Ryzen 5 to 400G processor with the Vega Graphics 11. Here I am using the Windows 10 Pro version 2004 updated to the latest version. I just installed it on the uh, one week before, just installed on this month all the features. So there will be no updates for this Windows right now. Okay. First, I am uninstalling all the Realtek drivers that are now available in this system for a fresh install. Oh, where is it? Realtek console. First, I am uninstalling it. Realtek console. Okay, uninstall. Okay, it uninstalled. Now, the second one Realtek high definition driver. Okay, click yes. Wait for it. guys I'm using my mobile phone for recording videos okay uh, application on all its features yes wait for the installation window to complete the process it's now removing the real tech high definition audio driver from my system and wait for it this will be a continuous video so I hope there will be no edit that's why I'm using the cell phone. Okay, something is there. Uh, install shield wizard is uninstalling. Okay, okay, it's now completed. No, I will restart my computer later. Click on it and click finish. Okay, all the real truck drivers are uninstalled, and I'm going to my motherboard's disk folder here. The gigabyte. I'm going to the audio. you can see two drivers the Realtek and the Realtek DCH the Realtek is the normal drivers for the HD audio and the Realtek DCH is the Realtek UAD drivers the universal audio support okay Realtek Here you can see it, the Realtek UAD driver is a third party modification of Realtek drivers. It means uh, it supports the Windows updation. We don't need to update the Realtek by itself. So here clearly you can see the Realtek audio console requires a Realtek HD driver or the UAD driver. So I am going to installing the Realtek TCH and here I am set up. Click on the yes. Wait for it to complete. I am closing this window. Here I guess you can see it all. See it. Okay, before this is the version 6.0.8773.164 bit edition. Okay, click next. And wait for it. Okay, it is now installing. Here before. Here I will show you the size. Here you can see it's just only a 73 MP. It's a good thing, you know. Okay. Now restart your system. Here the you can see the driver version. I'm going to restart this PC. Finish. Okay, the system restarted. 
taking so much time I'm using a normal SDD okay the system restarted successfully now I'm going to the C drive for just verify if the files are there okay you can see the folders names are the same HTA I try to install from the Microsoft uh, store the driver but I couldn't get anything I am searching here the real tech and nothing's pop-ups so okay now this is a link that I am going to use for the Microsoft store paste and go wait for it this is the real tech audio control console for the Windows 10 this is the link I'm going to click the get and the Microsoft store will automatically open okay wait check your connection refresh the page check connection oh, no. okay refresh page I got some internet problems because here heavy raining okay click on install and it's asked for the sign up I don't want just close it click install and close it it will start the install wait for it my internet is very very slow okay it started somehow it started downloading real tech audio control wait for it to complete ah, you can see the speed it's very 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 low error something unexpected happened sorry guys uh, this is because of my internet now it is completed okay the product is installed I am clicking on the launch button from here I am closing the all windows clicking on the launch wow it's opened it's worked you can see the speakers stereo quadraphonic 5.1 speaker all the options are the same like before Okay, microphone, line in, device, disable front panel, pop up dialog, and you can select all the speakers. Wow, it's great, it's great work. It's good, guys, it's good. So, I'm going to check in the here, here, you can see it the real tech audio console. So, friends, uh, this is how I installed the Microsoft console or the audio console or Realtek audio control panel for the Windows 10 uh, the UAD drivers actually I installed the UAD drivers for the Windows 10 for the Realtek so you can also install it by this way I guess uh, you can find the driver from the website just look for it B450 TS3X Okay, Gigabyte mm, Support Oh I, I told you the internet is not good here Oh, it's disconnected from the internet Okay, connecting Support, click on the support here you can select the driver version I am selecting the Windows 10 64 bit here you can see the drivers yes. Realtek OST audio driver this was actually I installed in my previous video you can check in the description box how I installed the normal Realtek HD audio manager for Windows 10 the, real, the link in the description box you can check the Realtek audio driver this is the normal driver for the Windows 10. You can use this driver for the uh, Windows 10 audio control panel. So friends, uh, this is how I installed the 
Microsoft Audio Console for the Realtek. So if you have the disk with you, you can install without any problem. So friends, thanks for watching this video and we will see you again. Be safe.